Hello on this Easter day. I want to begin this time of reflection by turning to God's word as we find it in Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 to 11. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised. As he said, Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly to tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, where they too will see me. Here ends our reading. Well, we have arrived at Easter Day on what has been a different and difficult journey for many of us. It seems strange not to be in our church singing those wonderful Easter hymns with great joy in our hearts. Christ is risen. And yet that important message of Easter is not lost even today. The fact is that Christ has arose from the dead and in doing so gives those who believe that message of great hope in this life and also for eternity. There is no doubt that those women who went back to the tomb on that first Easter morning did not believe Jesus when he told them, Three days and I will rise again. For them, Jesus was dead, and that was it. Talk of resurrection or coming back again was impossible after the crucifixion that they had witnessed. So they had come to further embalm his body. Perhaps today, at this Easter time, you too are thinking, it is impossible. Look at the world around us. Death itself is facing many of people. It's impossible to escape. There is simply nothing we can do but just wait. This virus that no one can see, we can't feel it or define it, yet it is killing thousands of people throughout our world. And so you conclude, it is impossible. Well, the story of Easter is that the impossible becomes possible. Jesus, who was put to death on a Roman cross and his body laid in a borrowed tomb, was not dead. He is alive. Yes, it can take time to believe. It took these women time to believe. It took the disciples time to believe. And it took Thomas proof to believe. Look at what the angel said in verses 5 and 6 of our reading. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised. He, as he said, come and see the place where he lay. They needed help to believe. Friends, Jesus was crucified for our sin and the sin of the whole world. This was God's great plan of salvation, that the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, should shed his blood as an atonement for our sins. Now the impossible is possible. Sinners can be saved through the blood that was shed, and they can have the righteousness of God poured into their lives when they believe. In second in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, we read, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that we might become the righteousness of God. So this Easter, ask yourself, do I believe? If not, why not simply ask God to help you see that the impossible is possible for you? And then do what these two women did. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy 
and ran to tell his disciples. Friends, leave your fear behind and accept the joy of Christ this Easter and then go and tell others, Christ is risen. Hallelujah. May you and all your family and loved ones have a wonderful, happy and blessed Easter time.